In this video, you'll see the new skin editor included in Presto 6.5. Presto skins control the layout, colors, and fonts for all the green screens that you're modernizing. They are completely customizable, so you can match your company's look and feel. This new skin editor makes it much easier for you to add your own logo and colors without needing to know HTML. We'll now walk through the steps to create your own custom skin. So we'll just start off by going to the Tools menu, and we'll just select Clone Skin. We'll give it a name of Harmonix Wholesale, that's our fictitious company. And we're going to clone the existing Nightfall skin. We've now got our own custom skin, so we want to go and edit the colors and the logo. So going back to the Tools menu, we'll now select the new Skin Editor option. Now within here, we can change any of the colors here, including the logo up here and the fonts, all through this nice Properties dialog on the right side. So one of the first things we want to do is go ahead and change the header background. We're just going to make that white. And the reason we're doing that is because our logo will not look good on a black background. So I'm going to go ahead and replace the logo. I do have the logo saved on my PC already. So I'm going to select this Harmonix logo. And we've now entered that in. It's starting to look better already and starting to match our company look and feel. The next step I want to do is put a darker color here for where the program titles automatically appear. That's part of the default rendering of Presto. So we look at here, we've got the header color, and we're gonna to go to the title background. And in this case, I'm just gonna slide down the color and pick a darker gray. And since the font's already dark, we do wanna change the font as well, the title text, to white. Now the next thing I wanna do is get a little bit of this red color into the skin as well. And we're gonna do that on the hover over of the function keys. Now another option to select colors, and in most cases, if you have a corporate look, uh, somebody will be able to pri provide you with the hex values. So in this case, the button hover. I know that the hex value of that red from the logo is this value here. And as soon as I hit enter, as I hover over, we now have that red, but again, not enough contrast on the font. So we'll go to the text on hover, and we'll select white for that as well. So just in a few quick steps, you can see how we're already customizing the skin to start matching your look and feel. We can now go ahead and hit the Save button, and this will automatically make it use the new skin on your Presto screens. Now, while the following is not going to be a new feature, it's important to be aware of as you're, as you're creating your own skins, is you can go to Tools and go to Settings, and then you go to the Environment tab. And here's some global options that you can select. Uh, you know, your function keys, do you want them on the left or at the bottom? The other one that uh, I like to do right away is the auto formatting. And by selecting left here, instead of none or right, it automatically gets rid of the dot, dot, dots. Um, you know, nothing screams green screen like the dots. Um, other values to point out to you here, do you want the function key number to show up? Again, I, I recommend keeping those on because you do have a large set of users in most cases that know what the function keys are, they like the function keys. Uh, the same is true with the subfile option detection. Uh, people sometimes know a two is change or a five is display. Um, but those are options to, to meet what your users uh, would benefit from. So that was a quick demo on how to customize your skin, which is one of the first things that you'll probably do in your modernization project. Please contact us if you have any questions about the skin editor or if you'd like to start modernizing your green screens with Presto today.